You spoke about uh, the law of cause and effect, which I think is really interesting, but it's the idea that if you are wronged, something will come back to the other person in some form. But what I think is really interesting for people to hear and that they should hear is that we don't need to give the retribution to the person that may have wronged us. Can you talk to us a bit about that? The Course in Miracles says that the biblical line, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, means God saying, I handle that, not you. Mm -hmm. And God does not, it is, God is not a vengeful God. Things are balanced. The point is that the universe has a perfect set of books, keeps a perfect set of books. That person will have to deal with what they did to you, just as you have to deal with what you did to others. God doesn't need your help mm -hmm. in balancing the score. The, the fact that I forgive you, the fact that I sort of step aside a kind of jiu-jitsu move, is, doesn't mean I condone what you did. It means that I choose not to be at the effect of what you did. Mm -hmm. If I make myself your jailer, you know, as the Course of Miracles reminds us, the warden can't leave the prison any more than the, than the prisoner can. If I make what you did to me real in my perception, then the effects of what you did will be real. The Course in Miracles says that the truth of who you are was not created to be the effect of lovelessness yourself, from yourself or others. If you did something to me, I can remember not only that the real you didn't do it, because the real you is love, but the real me isn't affected by it. Mm. So I don't have to go through that back and forth. I can step aside, forgive you, move on with my life, You'll have to deal with your karma. It, I have nothing to do with that. Yes. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Yeah, that's so beautiful. A topic that, of course, in Miracles speaks about a lot of different things, but it talks about miracles and the idea that, and this is my favorite, that a miracle is just a change in perception. And when I first read that in A Course in Miracles, I was like, oh my goodness, that is the most simplest but mind-blowing line I think I've ever heard yeah. because... We could be in such a state where everything's getting us down and we're, you know, in our own thought forms of negativity and this and that. But then you have that change in perception, that moment where you're able to see things clearly again. And as it says, that is a miracle within itself. Everything is changed. Well, the realization is that consciousness or thought is the level of cause. Yeah. And everything that happens in life is the level of effect. And as I said before, every single thought creates form on some level. We're not brought up to realize how powerful thought is. We're taught that money is powerful, things are powerful, government is powerful, business is powerful, technology is powerful. As Martin Luther King said, we have a power within us more powerful than the power of bullets. Mm -hmm. We, in the 21st century, there's a growing revelation and, and revolution of thought, which is the realization that the, every thought you think, you know, are you going to bless that person or are you going to blame that person? Are you going to judge that person? Or are you going to forgive that person? The point being not the effect it's going to have on them, but the effect it's going to have on you. Because if you bless that person, you're blessing yourself. It all has to do with the realization that on the level of spirit, there's only one of us here. There's a line in The Course of Miracles where it says, when you're about to judge someone or attack someone, just even in your thinking, imagine that a, that a sword is falling down on their head, but now be clear, it's not falling on their head, it's falling on yours, mm. right? So the only way I can be reminded of my innocence is if I'm open to remembering yours. And all of that is on the level of thought. You know, we all know that what we do is important, but there's a growing realization, not just that what you do is important, but what you think is important, and people, subconsciously know everything. If I walk into a room and I'm just kind of thinking real judgmental, selfish thoughts about it, I can be polite, how are you? But it doesn't carry the same energy yeah. as if I blasted the room with love before I came in and I really am intending to just be here with love, the, to show up as best I can. It feels different. And the Course in Miracles says people hear you on the level that you speak.